Hiya, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Bumi. If you're new here, welcome. So today we're going to be doing a get ready with me video and that's because I'm heading off to a birthday party in Chelsea and the dress code is glam. So I'm going to be getting all glammed and dolled up and before we go to the party, we're going to have a pit stop at a bar in Notting Hill um me with the girls and then head over to the birthday party so I just thought that I do get ready with me with you guys um I've already done my skin prepping you know the base which is like my skincare routine um if you want to know how I get that sorted out check my other get ready with me videos on my channel or you can check my instagram those are the quickest way to see me doing like my base is, um, before I apply my foundation and everything. And I've already done my eyebrows because when I try to do it on camera, it just doesn't come out great. So I always just tend to do that off camera. Then I come on camera looking this way. So my skin is nice and prepped. And that reminds me before I do my makeup or get ready, I always have to drink water because I get so thirsty once I come out of the shower. was so good each time i come out of the shower i literally <laughs> drink like a bottle of this i always drink a bottle of this because of how dehydrated i am um, and that's because i shower with very very hot water like <coughs> i'm sure you guys have seen the memes of women showering with hot waters it's not a joke it's actually so soothing when you do that anyways i digress um as normal i always use my nars if i'm not using my nars i'm always using my laura Mercier or kevin aquam but today i'm using my nars foundation which i absolutely adore because it never does me any wrong and right now there are three topics there are three topics i like to delve into and i'm not sure which one i should go in or i should talk about mostly in this video but um I and um, um, three topics are feminism as a Christian woman and what feminism is to me and why I feel like it's okay to be a feminist as a Christian. Um, the other one is regarding provision and complete dependence on God, you know, in regards to being provided for because these are the sort of things I'm going that i'm experiencing at the minute as you know someone that um you know is super reliant on god for our day-to-day um, -day provision and i see the hands of god in my life so um i can talk about those um topics and then the last one was literally just talking about the greatness of god also the conversation about how you turn from being a libro to um a conservative or like am i right winged person or left wing because i kind of feel like my politics have changed a little bit in regards to some topics that i used to veer towards so those three topics are particularly controversial um that it's not talked about enough in the you know christian um, society and um i'm not sure which one to debate on um ah holy spirit help holy spirit help anyways um come holy spirit and just help me in regards to this holy spirit help me i need your help regarding this but yeah um number one is what i'm currently going i'm going through at the minute actually um and that's because it's to actually lean towards the conversation about god's provision in my life because i've been seeing his hands on my life um as i've relinquished all control um and that's because like number one i am someone back in the day i would go to mayfair and blow a good hundred pounds minimum for dinner and that's just for dinner not just for the getting ready not just getting my hair done not just my outfit um and the cab fares and everything that was just the minimum and so 
I was unused to a life of independence um, as the firstborn in an in a Nigerian family um, household um, and classed as you know the little mummy of the house, which I absolutely de despise. By the way, I hate that title so much um, because I'm not a little mummy; I'm still a child, you know, and I should be treated as such. Anyways, I digress. Um, and you know, being the firstborn in a Nigerian household. Um, yeah, being the first born in a Nigerian household and then also like being um, a woman as well in a Nigerian household, I'm just in general used to being independent. I mean, I'm used to being the one doing the taking care of for people. I'm the one that is always the shoulders to lean on. You know, the mom, I'm always like, I always find myself being the mom in my friend groups or just being just quite chilled and laid back in a lot of sense i like to think i am um and so when i got closer to god and jesus and the holy spirit because you know all of that um one thing that god um dealt with me on was control and ego and it control an ego in the sense of i can do this alone i can do this by myself i don't need anyone's help i will figure this out by myself because i've always just end up figuring things out by myself and when it comes to provision i started working as soon as i got my ni so that was at the age of 16 and i've just been providing for myself ever since like even when i'm very very low on budget or on income I would not even tell my mom because I'm trying to like, you know, not be a burden financially for her sometimes because I kind of feel like I'm old enough. I should be able to like take care of myself financially. And, you know, I, I just started working even when I was at uni. I did like, you know, Christmas jobs, temp, temp jobs. I would literally always make sure that I had money in my hands. And that's because number one, I don't want to always have to go up to my mom constantly for money regarding the minute things that she might find useless. But to me, it's just something that brings me joy and pleasure. And I just don't want to justify what what i'm buying and why i'm buying it and so that is my sense of ego and my sense of control and then as soon as i got to know god and jesus and one thing that he dealt with me was my ego and my pridefulness and my stubbornness and all these things and i was just kind of like oh you know like okay i get it like it's not really really good to do that because god made made us for community it made us to be reliant on him and to depend on him because he's our good father you know and in the beginning in genesis it says god created heaven and earth so he created all the minerals all this wealth all this um splendor all this amazing thing so it's not too big to like do is not you know too too much or too big of a thing for god to be my provider be someone that you know cares for him that you know cares for me financially and so um one thing that um god dealt with me on was reawakening my passion that i have and the need to not always just pursue the money all the time but rather something that brings me joy that is that aligns well with my purpose because to me back in the day i would put i would place money and a lot of capital gains over my um my passion because i was just kind of like yeah passion is something i can always do on the part time on the side while i do something that brings money that makes me make me feel you know comfortable and confident in life because i'm not gonna lie when you have money the way you carry yourself um it's completely different you know the way you 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 do with you you handle life and you you deal with life is completely different you have this sort of hair of you know importance to you and that's very very ego driven in the sense of you think you're better than everyone or something along those lines and i love the luxuries of life and god knows i love the luxuries of life and he gives the luxuries of life you know um is the provider of the goals that we're always after is the one that gave the people the skill sets to make all these luxury designer things is the one that 
provided the calf skins and all these things like he, he literally provided everything on this earth so us thinking that we can do this by our own minds and you know manifest things into existence and it's almost kind of like god also dealt with me about that so first i'm going to go in using my chanel um natural finish loose powder on my under eyes to bring a bit of brightening to it and then i'm going to go in using my laura mercier um translucent powder on the other areas of my face that i've put concealer on anyway so it was almost kind of like god dealt with me on manifestation because what if you're what you're manifesting is not in alignment to what god has ordained for you from heaven because we were created and formed on purpose intentionally for a reason for a purpose on earth and what if everything you're manifesting even though you get the, um, the, the desires of your heart what if it's not in alignment with what god has for you what if it's greater than what you can comprehend in your mind and you're manifesting things that you know god is almost kind of like that's not what i have for you but if that's what you want he's a good father in that sense if that's what you want i'll give it to you but eventually you will learn the lesson of knowing that what you asked for and what you were trying to manifest and what you were craving was not really something that would glorify his name or will show his splendor in a higher way because my god when i tell you that god wants to mount us up on eagle wings and that's one thing i'm learning as well in exodus as it did for israelites you know and on eagle wings eagles have this ability to go up to to the highest of magnitude in the sky that to the point that their predators um that pecks on their neck they don't fight they don't do anything but they take them up to the highest of magnitude that a lot of other birds cannot touch and then because of lack of oxygen that predator falls to his death so God will literally take us to the highest of aptitude of heights to the point that when people see you, they know it's not you that took yourself there. It was God that took you there. And so you're taking, you're literally exerting power that would exhaust you to the point that when you're done achieving all you can, you've lost that on good family and friends. You've lost that on your dignity. You've lost that on your morals, on your, you know, on your values. You've lost that on so much that God was trying to prevent. But because you're being stubborn and you want things your own way and God will give it to you, you know, no matter how much you say, you know, you're acting the universe, God will give it to you. No lie about that. But you know, you, 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 you'll be exhausted, exhausted by that. And God is not a God that wants you exhausted, unable to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You know, he doesn't want you to like, you know, reach your final destination and you have no good family and friends to share it with. You know, the whole point, the whole purpose of life is literally worshiping God, number one. And having community and sharing what you have with your community and you see that in the Bible in a lot of ways you know and God wants to give you the riches of your heart he wants to give you your heart desires but first he has to literally like deal with you on certain things that you know would would sabotage the blessing he's about to give you and you have to go through a lot of like you know reforming and re um being refined by god um before you can get what you want you know and a lot of the time sometimes it takes 40 days sometimes it takes 40 years like it took the children of israelites to get to that promised land you just depend on how if you want to do it the easy way or the hard way either way god has the time for you anyways and he knows at the end of the day you get to where he needs you to get to it's just up to you 40 days or for 40 years you know type of thing and that's one thing i'm learning and that's one thing i learned and so um you know there was this example of this widow i'm not a widow i know but it's in line with my point of the um the widow um did not have a husband that would look after her and her children and um, the debt of her husband fell on her neck and she had nowhere to turn to nothing to do she went out to other people they didn't listen to her and then eventually she went to a prophet and the prophet of god told her to go to her neighbors and literally like get as many empty kegs as she can and you know 
he performed the miracle and then she had enough oil enough to sell so that it, she can you know pay off the debt of her husband and have enough left over for her and her children to live on for a while and so little things like this god was showing me that it's okay to it's okay to be dependent on people around you like on community and everything like that and above all else it's okay like to you know go to god god wants you to come to him for your provi for provision because he's a good father it's like your earthly father if your earthly father knows that you're struggling it hurts him to see you struggling when he can provide for you as much as he can your earthly father may not be as rich but your heavenly father baby is the richest man there is not just financially but in in wisdom in understanding in knowledge is so wise beyond anything you can ever comprehend so why are you not reaching out to your dad and that's one thing um, i've learned over the years and i've done my experiments with god i've i've done i've said certain things and i've behaved certain ways and god has always come through and an example of that would be I always say this example all the time to people is like one time I was very low on finances because I am going through a stage in life that again God is making me dependent on him as I am currently as well which is something I'm currently experiencing and I see the goodness of God in my heart in my life honestly <coughs> so one time I was like I'm going to walk from my house to Stratford because it's quite it's not much of a distance to me but for the normal people they're not used to working it is quite a distance and so i was like you know yeah i don't i'm not really in the mood to spend money like that i'm not really in the mood to like you know i mean it's one pound fifty but that one pound fifty could go to could go elsewhere when you're on a budget right and so god was like okay cool why don't you jump on the next bus that is coming and i was like god that would be extra 150 that I'm spending £1.50 and God was like no jump on this bus and so I was going back and forth eventually I was like okay cool I'll go on I'll go on this bus I got on the bus kid you not the reader was not working it literally was not working and then yeah it, it wasn't working and I was like okay I didn't really need to walk God did not want me to walk even though I it knew that I wanted to take the bus, but I couldn't. And even though I enjoyed walking that day, I just didn't feel like walking. I just wanted to take the bus. But because I had no choice, I took the bus and God came through. And things like telling God, hey, by the time I get to the train station, I just want to make sure that I get into this train station and I come through, you know, and I go through and the train is just coming in and that would happen there'll be times god will tell me hey the train station is closed take the replacement bus and then i'll be stubborn and not really adhere to god's voice and i'll see the train station is closed and i have to take the re replacement bus or there'll be times god will be like leave your house early i've left my house and it's because there's been an inconvenience in the travel transportation in transportation that I get there on time. So little things like this, I see God's hands in my life. Like when I can't afford to do my content creation, when it comes to fashion, because I, lo I love fashion, it brought people to my way that got me clothes. They literally got me clothes and clothes that have tags on them. And little things like this, even when I'm out and I'm about, I'm, and I'm out and about, and I'm just kind of like, oh, I just want to go there to support because I've always, I've already said yes to this commitment and it was weeks ago or whatever literally i will end up not being not paying for my meals so little things like this has shown me god is very true to his words when it gets you to the point of dependency on you it brings people around you literally you don't have to go out there looking for them that is one thing I've learned about God, that I'm still learning about God when it comes to my finances. And this is crazy enough. This is a topic I'm going to be, I'm going to be preaching about for my connect group, in my connect group, in two weeks time. So just as God will use, I'm using this um, Forever Natural Bronzer Dior. And it comes in this cute compact, which I absolutely love. Like, I just love it it gives me like chanel vibes when it comes to the way it's packaged especially this you know old format and it comes in this shade this shade is absolutely beautiful shade absolutely beautiful shade 
But yeah, God will bring people, your helper, to you. You don't have to go out there. You don't have to, you know, hustle your way through to people's life. People will just want to bless you because God put it on their heart to bless you. And because they're blessing you and it's God sending them to bless you, they experience blessings in their own life as well. And just as I, when I was in abundance financially, probably when I was helping people, they I didn't know that was it was God using me as a vessel to help them as well. Little things like that, God will bring them to you. You don't have to like, you know, go to all this fancy place to get any help. God will literally position you in the place where he knows that people that listen to his voice, that he can use as a vessel, would show up and show up for him. That um, that he will use them as a vessel to bless you, basically. And I, I just find that so beautiful because, like, you know, in the world, the world tells us to network, to be a networker, you know, to be intentional with the friends we make. I mean, it's good to be intentional with the friends we make, like because you know sometimes iron sharpens iron and all this good stuff but also just because you know you're trying to get somewhere in life doesn't mean you discard other people that are not up to your level or to your social standings and you know it doesn't mean that you every friendship that you make you have to get something out of it financially or money money wise or opportunity wise you could just be you're helping them in their spiritual work in life it could be you're helping them in so many ways like teaching them a lesson that needs to be learned by you and all this good stuff and so that's one thing i'm learning about my god like god is a good dad is a good 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 father like it comes through when you truly put your your trust in him like it comes through and it shows up and shows out in your life like honestly like it is scary i'm not going to lie it's scary knowing you know but i've seen god do marvelous things in my life so far that i'm not worried and when i feel like i could get and actually not anymore no, I don't think I'm worried anymore, actually. I used to be. Um, but I've seen God's promises were, um, like coming through in my life. I've seen the way God keeps showing up and showing up for me. I've seen just what he keeps doing in my life to the point that I'm just kind of like, I will blindly follow you any way you take me. Just as Peter, when he was a fisherman and God, Jesus called him saying, come, you shall be fishes of men. And God was telling him to, Jesus, well, God is, Jesus is God. Jesus was telling him, you know, cast your net to this side. And he listened. And every, when God, when Jesus said, follow me, he followed him immediately after. If you can do that, then it can do much more for you, you know? He's a provider of all things. And in this economy standing that we're in, with a lot of people facing redundancy, um, with a lot of people facing, like, career change, finding it a bit scary, you know, whatever situation you're in, just know if you commit all things to God's hand and you're, you're actually seeking Him first. I would like to say seeking God first and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you seeking god's first and i mean this in the nicest way possible seek god first actually number one is something i like to say seek him first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all things all things is not saying little things it's not saying that one thing it's not saying this thing it's saying all things all things that he has for you because remember he knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb he, he has your hair accounted the amount of hairs on your head from when you were a baby to when you're about to die to when you die is accounted for it do you know how insane that is to us anyways to me that that's insane you know but that's how so i've already done this one eye because my friend my camera battery was going low and i was almost about to do this eye when i realized that oh i need to record this part for you guys this is kind of a tricky part for me so i won't be talking as much as i would have been talking in the other process um i've gone in using um my bronzer from nars which i absolutely like because i use it as a um 
you know as a crease as my crease for me to just give it a bit of definition and just like darken it a bit more and now i'm gonna go in using my nyx um and it's called tweed eyeshadow this one absolutely don't use it often than i should but it's such a great um natural um eyeshadow so it, it just gives that natural vibes to it you know that i absolutely love and then it's not too far off the tone of my bronzer which just makes it blend seamlessly you know but yeah um i'm not going to lie though it's human nature i say that i have peace but it's still human nature for me to think oh i don't want to be a charity case um i don't want to be that friend that people are looking down on or like when that or that person that people are looking down on or i like, gave pity on them and they're just like helping them or whatever because sometimes you know you can be doing something nice but their heart is deceitful and it says that in the bible is deceitful and i just you know that's my worry because my worry is just i don't want to be like a burden on people and the reason why i said that is like way before i got closer with god or my relationship with god got um better or like you know i've understood who god is i know who god is i've seen his hand in my life um i remember when like i was absolutely like no money in my account type of thing i mean i did but it was not enough it was something that i had to like really budget for and so you know sanitary towel for women i didn't have enough and i didn't want to spend too much on it and i had to run out i didn't tell my mom that i needed money or anything as such again my ego was coming in place um i didn't tell my mom at all that i needed help and I think my mom clocked on. I don't know how she did, but she clocked on. And before I know it, she literally bought me a sanitary towel. That, that is, this is how stubborn I am when it comes to the way I take care of myself in the sense of I'm very, very headstrong. Um, I do not like to ask for help a lot of the time. And me relying on God and God bringing people to show me his hands and to bless me has been quite a change i'm not going to lie i i find it extremely uncomfortable <laughs> i'm not going to lie i find it very very uncomfortable you know because i like to be the one to do the giving not receiving and yeah in a way it's god allowing me to rest and stopped you know relying too much on myself and actually have communities that are willing and ready to help me if i need it obviously i don't go around telling people my business because i'm black number one i'm nigerian there's that you know eager to ego side to hold on yeah there's that ego side to you in the sense of you don't want anyone to know your business because you don't you just don't want to be looked down on it's it's just a thing <laughs> in in nigerian community in in our society so it's been a it's been a change for me it's been a change in the sense of yeah it's been a change in the sense of relying on god so i just literally use my revolution um makeup makeup revolution um eyeliner so it's a duo so it has the liquid one as well as the you know creamy one i guess um i i find that the creamy one works a lot better with me i don't like the liquid version because it just is not as precise as i want it to be and it ends up being messy messy and that's one thing i've realized about this um liner but anyways um like i was saying it's just been an adjustment and it's all about, it's all about being humble and i feel like god was sh is showing me how to be humble because being humble is like knowing that you can't do everything by yourself and it's okay sometimes to ask for help you know it's okay to take your ego aside and just ask for help and obviously i don't go to people or anything as i mentioned as well i just literally the only person i go to for everything about my life everything no matter how minute 
of detail it is, I go to God about it. And somehow, some way, God finds a way to help me, give me the answers. If it's spiritually, it gives me the, the help I need spiritually. It gives me the answers I need spiritually. It's just always there and is willing and ready to help, you know. And that's because at the forefront of everything, I'm always putting them first. And that's one thing I didn't learn how to do when um, I was getting closer with God, you know. But now I am, and it's been the most beautiful thing. Um, ooh, this is why I don't like talking. I don't like I'm back. It almost gave me a wink. God, is this you trying to give me a wink? Because I've been trying to correct it, but maybe the Holy Spirit wants to give me a wink. I wink liner, so wink liner it is. You get a wink for me. I mean, that came out pretty in a way, you know. Just brings out my eye shape a lot more. A bit of wing on the side. That's cute. But yeah, um, if that's what the Holy Spirit wants, that's what the Holy Spirit wants. Um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for this. But yeah, um, yeah, it's been an adjustment. So another example I like to give is when I was at uni. Um, I went to LCC, which is in Elephant and Castle, and my accommodation was in um New Cross Gate. And you know the long walk, like the that long walk, that New Cross long, that long road, that um Old Kent Road like road is long and i was running on finances i was running low on finances and instead of asking my friends or anything i literally just said okay this is an opportunity for me to like take up my walking activities a lot more seriously and i didn't ask for help i didn't do anything and when it was christmas time and it was temp time i literally looked for a temp role and made sure that i got my finances up to speed again and this is how stubborn i am when i tell you that i'm extremely stubborn and i i feel like me being independent is actually a trauma that god is be out of me type of thing um but yeah um one thing i would say though is like obviously always seek god first you know because it's the author and the finisher of everything and is the one you know that would help you in all things so that is literally what is going on currently in my life everything you see right now is provided for and financed by god using other people in my life and i like to make sure that i talk about things so that people don't think don't have this projection of a lifestyle on me when it's the complete opposite it's not me providing for myself right now it's actually god and god continues to show up and show up in my life and sometimes i'm just kind of like when i see people helping me it, it kind of feels weird not to be able to be like oh you take the tab this um this um day out or this night out or, you know for this lunch or this brunch and then I'll pick up the next tab because that's what I'm used to doing with my friendships and it's just weird it's just a weird so I hate the feeling that I'm, I'm using people I absolutely feel so uncomfortable knowing that I can't pick up the tab next time we go out or I'm the one picking it up first and then they're returning the favor because I'm just so used to that sort of lifestyle that's what I'm used to doing and it's just a weird territory I'm in at the minute and, but I trust in God and obviously um I try my best not to li um, I try my best to limit my outings and to limit my spendings and not to rely too much on people and in all things I'm also very very grateful because the verse of the year for me that God gave me was Philippians 4 and I've been living that verse every day and one of it is contentment in all in all things as well and so yeah um i went down to check up on my mom to help if i to see if i can help with the cooking because she's cooking at the minute um and i was just kind of like she's already done cooking anyways so i was like is this lipstick too dark or should i lighten it up a little bit then she was like you can lighten it up a bit and then she's like you enjoy using matte all the time like i don't understand why you love using matte and so i was just gonna lie she was like just use gloss or something and to be honest she's always told me that you know prior to all of this um you know all of this she's always told me that short hair looks better on me and i've noticed that short hair looks better on me than the bust down 
28 inches wigs type of thing and so i'm gonna take a up on the offer of actually putting gloss but i'm scared of putting gloss because i'm not going for the glossy look i just want the matte look because it's a night out and gloss doesn't give night out vibes to me anyways uh so i'm going to go in using taupe for mark on my lips using this brush so that damp is it and yeah, i feel like that damp is it a bit a bit of pat down gives it a bit of more dimension i mean it's similar to the color and the lip um lip um liner that i used is called cold brew from nyx uh i love nyx lip liners they're so long lasting and they just work for me uh they they work for my lips so yeah uh just work for me so i'm just gonna stick beside my matte look <laughs> i guess um that said though i'm going to put like a gloss in my bag just in case i feel like maybe a bit of gloss will do towards the end of the night you know like when you just don't feel like adding a bit of touch up because it's towards the end of the night so you just put gloss to just take you home basically and looks like it's a bit tinted rather than just gaps in your in your lips so that's one of my acts i love to um, do basically now i'm going to use my morphe jumbo continuous setting knits literally my favorite go-to um setting spray and then once i'm done with this i literally go into my makeup again um, using my Laura Mercier translucent powder to pat down my t-zone area so that it doesn't get oily towards the night time and then I'm done basically I have pat down the t-zone area for my makeup and I'm done with my makeup the outfit of choice is this green number that is from ASOS and i've been meaning to wear this dress for a really really long time actually and it's been a while since i've worn this sort of dress style because god um told me to start dressing modestly and that's what i've been doing and so it's just a bit of a weird throwback for me wearing something as sparkling as this but also as short as this i mean for me because i don't have the voluptuous body even though i still have some curves to me it's still decent it's not as you know revealing or anything like that because i'm quite petite however i am worried about this wrap detailing in this front bit there so um it's to my length is almost to my knees the length of my knees to my knees basically um but it's still just right above my knees and i'm a bit worried about that actually but that um that said i feel like i'm going to wear something over it when i am heading off to my location to the to the restaurant slash bar bit before we head off to the party so this is going to be like a number that i'm wearing and then obviously take pictures you know that that night 
style sort of pictures that people do that vibe so that's what i'm aiming for with this outfit so this is how the outfit look <laughs> this is how it looks a bit nervous because i've not worn a dress like this but at least i know i still have it you know like i st i know that i still have it i still have that sexy vibe to me you know that you know sh but only only girl version of it you know that sexy only girl version to me um yeah and it's just something i knew that you know when i'm married or whatever that i can still pick out some sexy pieces for my man when going out on a date or something you know because men are visual creatures and i enjoy looking nice and snatched and I enjoy hearing like oh my god babe you look amazing <laughs> i love hearing things like that so yeah um yeah this is the dress let me show you guys let me bring this down a bit more so that you see the the fullness of this outfit so this is the detailing up close and personal um the strings here is getting a bit loose so I'm, i might have to tighten that so that it just sits perfectly on my shoulders without me worrying that it's gonna slip up this way and then this is how it just looks so it's just like a nice green number it aims towards the vibe side of the look um i might i'll, I'll not mind i will wear a t-shirt over this because this is yeah i don't feel too comfortable you know um in this like just being too exposy i feel oh i've changed so much <laughs> i feel like i've changed so much like my goodness but yeah this is the look so the final touch to getting ready i feel like it's always the perfume it just makes an appearance people smell you before you you show yourself basically and it says who you are and this number that i'm showing right now i've already made them um, done a review on this comparing it with to the alpha t so check out that video but this does the job for me honestly oh it smells so divine it just smells impeccable you know it just smells absolutely impeccable just my pause points as always as i like to do that helps you know retain make your perfume last a bit longer um absolutely obsessed with the uncompromising so and when i tell you it's very uncompromising <laughs> very very uncompromising a little goes a long way with this one so yeah um this is my look for the video what do you think thank you so much for spending the time with me the day with me one hour with me i guess getting ready and just talking to you and please do not forget to like share comment or subscribe and subscribe not all subscribe and subscribe that will help me and motivate me into doing more topics like this because i can see that it's helping you guys out and if it's a word or something you want someone to know and they're going through something difficult and they can relate to my situation send it over to them let them know that you love them and this is a way to show that god is in control of their life god is always there we're living and breathing his hair um, everything about the earth and heaven is god literally we can't escape god um god is all around us and we're literally speaking his name as we're breathing that that's how magnificent god is so um definitely send this over if it's helped you please don't forget to comment let me know your thoughts on this and i will see you in my next video maybe the next video will be about you know being a christian woman who is feminine and a feminist maybe that could be a topic because yeah that is something that needs to be talked about or you know another topic i could talk about is having you know a very liberal mindset in a lot of things to then ending up with some conservative mindsets as well 
because of you know god and stuff so yeah um let me know if those are the topics you'd like to hear more from me about and yeah i'll see you in my next one bye guys bye <laughs>